the new fate channel checking in on today's episode of sunday supplement review we are talking about gains specifically betancourt's lean gains on this series i review a supplement every episode to help you decide if it is right for your fitness goals your health needs and most importantly, that hard, hard, hard-earned money. Today, we are talking about Betancourt Nutrition's Lean Gains. I just finished a leg workout, so it is a perfect time for me to take down these two mass monster packets I have right here. Um, so, Betancourt Nutrition's Lean Gains are specifically designed for those who are on a bulk. And those who are on a bulk and have difficulty getting in calories, I've said it before on this channel, and I will say it again, you really don't want to be drinking your calories. You don't want to be, you know, putting in tons of, crappy sugar and carbs if you can avoid it you really want to try to stick to whole food sources but if you are on a bulk and i have been in the past it is difficult at times when the calories and macros get super high to get in all of that food it takes time to cook that food prepare it and even eat it so obviously this is something of a convenience if you're not on a bulk or if you don't have trouble getting in all those calories while you're on a bulk, certainly not something you would want to look at. So let's dive into the macros and the ingredients. Both of these packets, I have vanilla cream and chocolate brownie. Both of these packets are almost identical, um, so I'm just going to read off one. So I have, um, I have a half a serving. So to give you an idea of how big a serving size is, this is only half of a serving. So one full serving is 590 calories, 11 grams of fat, 9 grams of saturated fat, 77 grams of carbohydrates, um, that's five grams of fiber and 17 grams of sugar, and then protein comes in at 45 grams. Let's talk about protein sources. We have whey protein, whey protein concentrate, and then beef iso. I know there's a big push nowadays to kind of get that protein from beef and eggs. Uh, I'm a huge fan of beef and egg protein, but since I consume majority of that in my diet, I don't necessarily prefer it in my protein powders. I do prefer like a whey protein isolate mixed with a whey protein casein for a better digestion window. Let's talk about carbs. When you get these mass gainers, when you get these lean gains, you really want to make sure you're not getting a whole bunch of sugar. You don't want to spike that insulin. You really want to get a better, longer digestion window. This is uh, not too bad. Here we go. Carbohydrate complex maltodextrin, which is typical of um, any type of mass gainer they put in that maltodextrin. Then we have also mod carb, which is organic oat bran, organic quinoa, organic buckwheat, and uh, carb 10, which is a pea starch carbohydrate. And they also have brown rice bran in there as well. So not necessarily a bad breakdown with respect to the carbohydrate. Uh, you know, oftentimes, again, when you see these mass builders, it's just junk carbs in there that are going to spike your insulin. And you really want to avoid that. You really want to avoid putting on that fat when you're looking to gain weight. You want to gain that clean, lean weight, not um, not fat, right? Who wants to put on fat because you can't flex fat? So let's talk about cost. So I did it online. You can go to betancourtnutrition.com. It's online, a number of different online retailers. The best price I found was $2.75, which does seem like a lot, but keep in mind, this is half a serving. So most of you are probably gonna be doing half a serving at a time, so you're gonna divide that by two. So that's actually a fair price for what you're gonna be getting um, in terms of all that protein and all those carbohydrates. And again, I said it before, and I'll say it again, if you're not having trouble getting um, all your calories in while on your bulk, you don't need a mass builder. You're probably better off getting yourself protein and then getting your carbohydrates from whole food sources. Hell, if you can get your proteins from whole food sources, that's the way to go too. This is for people who are on the go and again, really have trouble getting all those carbs, getting all that protein in. So let's talk about taste. I have um, two cups here. And I've got 10 ounces of ice cold water as prescribed. So we're gonna mix them both and taste them both. The truth is, I'm not really sure what happened. If you're going to prove, there's no reason to prove. Here we go. Didn't mix that well. I got like chunks in here. Yeah, chunks. Um, but the vanilla cream is pretty sugary. It didn't mix that well. And again, I mixed it as prescribed with like 10 to 11 ounces of water and a whisking ball in here. So I would have expected it to mix better. I do know that a lot of the beef proteins that they put in these powders really don't dissolve very, very well, which is why a lot of companies avoid them. That was the vanilla cream. Let's see if the chocolate brownie is any better. I'm going to give it a few more shakes because that one wasn't mixed well at all. Mm. 
哥哥，哦，这这错了吧 ？Oh yeah, that's horrible. Not good on either of them. They didn't mix well. They, they didn't taste very good. And usually, when you get these mass gainers that have fat and carbohydrates in them, they can taste very, very good because they don't have to kind of cut out all the the flavoring.、Um, unfortunately, Betancourt's lean gains not that good at all. I would avoid it in general. If you're looking to put your own mass gainer together, I would absolutely say get yourself a nice protein that you enjoy and go for a highly branched cyclic dextrin that is a low glycemic index carbohydrate that's going to give you an even digestion. It's going to be easy on your stomach and That's really going to target those lean gains in terms of getting that balanced release of energy and carbohydrates into the system. Definitely avoid Betancourt's、um, lean gains. Sorry, it didn't mix well at all,、um, and yeah, not good at all. Man, whew, that was boy. I'm gonna have to throw this out. Usually, I would never dump out protein, but this is not something I'm gonna be finishing. Oh, hopefully you found this review informative. Even though、uh, lean gains up by Betancourt Nutrition was a bust. Let me know in the comments below if you use a mass builder on your bulks, or if you try to get all of your food through whole food sources. Drop it in the comments below. Now, if you've come this far in the video, you know what to do. Give it a like, hit that subscribe button. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I post tips and tricks to save you dads time, energy, and money. Three things that are in short supply for every dad out there.